with the Saints Project being published this week, uh, with the Nauvoo era, to think that Latter-day Saints around the world can have another opportunity to get to know the Saints who lived in the city better. It's been a little overwhelming uh, to be in Nauvoo this weekend, to see the sights, to walk where they walk, to reflect a little bit on uh, how our lives are similar and how our lives are different. The book Saints has really kind of opened my eyes to what they were actually experiencing. Um, because you know you hear all these names but you don't really know what they were feeling what they were experiencing as much as as I understand now and so it helps me appreciate a little more about you know how their faith helped them through through the, the early years of the of the church as it was growing as you know they had things that they didn't understand one of the things we wanted to do with the book was to discuss challenging topics in church history in a straightforward way and to put them in their context so we discussed issues like Joseph Smith's use of a seer stone in the translation of the Book of Mormon, the beginnings of plural marriage, uh, and to do so in a way that uh, they're part of the broader story of our history. Working in church history, sometimes it's meaningful to me because I descend from some of the people that I study. And it, it's exciting to me to read about a woman who is a midwife, who's, who's my ancestor. But I found that when I study church history, I, I gain spiritual ancestors. The members of the church that I belong to are my spiritual ancestors, and their examples, their experience, their suffering, all of it really is meaningful to me. It makes me feel rooted. It makes me feel stronger than I did before reading their stories. Saints is such an easy read, and I'm able to like listen to it on my way to work, and uh, I feel like I can understand kind of what Joseph Smith was going through a lot more and the whole story of it, it all makes, it makes a lot of sense, so I really like it. Many of our challenges uh, were their challenges as well, right? How to uh, keep faith in a, in a world full of trials and, and, and challenges and how to um, create a community. The way women have shaped the church, the way they have contributed to the building of the kingdom, their stories, their experiences, their contributions matter and they're well represented in this new volume. The early church was really a church of young people. Uh, the converts were often in their teens or their 20s, and they, it was these people who built the church. And so it's so exciting to be able to talk to the young adults of the church about early Latter-day Saint history, because there's so much for our young adults today to identify within that history and to see their own mission and role just grateful that you know the the church leadership is is aware of of what the young adults are thinking what and they're trying to connect with us um, which is it means a lot it means a lot um, in in the in today's world um, just knowing that they're they're aware of us and they're trying to to help us as we are sh striving to follow the example of Jesus Christ